This is Brian How to in reviews. Uh, today I just wanted to show you a video on how to edit a video using Adobe Premiere Elements. Now a lot of big YouTubers that you see use uh, <coughs> editing softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Adobe After Effects, and Final Cut Pro. So today I will show you how to edit a video with Premiere Elements 2020. So as you can see here, there is a quick view a guided and an expert. I prefer using the expert because I've been using the expert and it feel I just feel very comfortable using the expert. So first you're going to click on add media. You can do from elements organizer, files and folders, photos from cameras or devices, videos from cameras or devices, webcam, or DVD camera or computer hard drive. So I'm gonna go to files and folders and then videos and then as you can see here the video that I chose here just up, up came into my project assets which will show everything that you have put on your project so then you drag it onto the timeline to to the beginning, I accidentally put it there, and then your clip will appear here, and at first I will show you how to cut out clips and merge them together. So let's say there's a clip that you want to get rid of or you messed up on a part in the video. You drag the playhead, which is what this is called over here, to the part where you want to cut it out. And then you press this scissors button, and then you drag it, drag the playhead over to the other part of the video where you want to continue. And then you press the scissors button again, then you select the unwanted clip, and then you press the delete button on your keyboard, and it will close the gap. So, that is basic video editing. If you want to learn how to export the video, I will leave a time code in the video right here. So, next we will go into text boxes. Let's say you want to add a text box in your video. You go over to here on your sidebar, you click add text boxes. There are classic titles and motion titles. Now you just click the box here. And then you delete add text, and then you put, for example, this is a test. And then it will appear on the timeline. Or you can add motion titles, which is what I use most of the time. So you just click the text box, and then over here, you select what you want it to say. And then you have your motion text box there, and then this is what it will look like. Now I want to apologize for the video quality here because it looks very choppy because my video card on this computer is more of an average video card and it's probably can't and it just does not want to handle uh, the motion text boxes because I think this computer doesn't have enough RAM or some, something like that and before I go on I just want to thank you 30 people for subscribing to the channel 
as I forgot to mention in the introduction in this video. So step four, you can add audio to your clip, which I will add now. Okay, so as you see here, I just added some audio that I got from the YouTube audio library. You can drag it on any of these audio uh, timelines, even the first one. And you can also adjust the volume of your audio using this or by clicking it and then going over here to make adjustments to your clip and then you can adjust the audio that you want for the clip. Or you can have it play along and then adjust the audio as it plays along. And now it sounds exactly the same way that I um, wanted it to adjust. Now another cool feature that I learned about is called the time ramping feature. But you can go over here for tools, and then there's motion tracking, time ramping, smart trim, candid moments, freeze frame, pan and zoom. So we're going to go to time ramping. And then you can add a time zone. And then you go down here to select the speed that you want the video to go. You can go fast, very fast extremely fast or slow. The reverse feature is very cool. Because what it will do is it will play the video and then it will reverse and then it will keep playing that part and then keep going. Just a little heads up here, if you are using Premiere Elements and you use a time wrapping feature, it will ask you if you delete if you want to delete the audio because it will only do it for the picture, uh, the video, not the audio. So then there are also transitions that you can add to your clips. There are a lot of transitions here. I have not had the time to go through them all. I mean, I've had the time, but I just didn't go through them all. There are also audio transitions. And advanced adjustments that you can make to your videos. I usually don't use these. But they are still pretty neat to have. So that is pretty much it for video editing. So the next step that I will show you is exporting your video. This is going to be the last step of video editing. Once you're done editing your video, well first you're going to want to save it by pressing the save button up here in the top corner. And then you are going to want to export it. So you click this export and share button. You can do quick export, devices, disk, online, audio, or image. I usually have it saved in 1080p. You can also do 4K. I usually don't do 4K because it takes a little too long to save, and I don't have that much memory on this computer. 
So then once you select the format that you want to save it in and the destination that you want to save it in, then you click save. There are also enough, a lot uh, some other cool features like you can make um, the timeline uh, a dual monitor workspace if you like using two monitors, which I don't. But that is it for video editing for Premiere Elements. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you like this video. Oh, that's been it. I will catch you guys in the next one.